Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular day, where I do trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, I review YouTube channels, occasionally I'll review a movie, but really, I just do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody, how you doing? Today, I'm going to do one from the channel called This Is Dan Bell. And I've seen some stuff on his channel before. I think I did one a while back on his channel. I like him. And this is about the Mothman. It's called The Mothman's Lair. I guess he went and took a tour of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, where the Mothman originated. So let me get my headphones on. I hope everyone's doing good. Shouldn't be too long now. We'll be able to go outside, hopefully. You know, things will open up again. Restaurants and movie theaters and the gym. I miss I miss going to the gym. Anyways, let's check this out right now. They said its eyes glowed red. On a November night in 1966, two young couples took a ride out to an abandoned munitions site known locally as the TNT area. What they saw that night was the beginning of strange things happening in the town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Lights in the sky, men in black, and several sightings of a flying red-eyed creature, the press dub Mothman, had this small town on the Tommy Ohio Jones River was there with fear. Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. On this episode, we will explore the TNT oh, storage men in bunkers black. alleged to be the home of the elusive Mothman. That was my poor attempt at humor. Pretty cool looking statue. You think we'll see the moth man? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that we don't. <laughs> <laughs> the minute I see two red I don't think eyes, I'd want I'm to. out of there. <laughs> I'm running away. You're on your own, buddy. <laughs> the hell with this all for one, one for all shit. Is that 1.2? 1.2. Okay. I'm gonna park. Want to do right there? Or... I feel like that's the easiest. Yeah. I'm kind of weird about that other fucking car. It's just people making out. Yeah, this has got to be it. Look at all the yeah. graffiti. I think this is good. Yeah. I hope. Hey guys, uh, so we're out in the McClintic uh, wildlife management area of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. This is Mothman Central. And we're going to go look at some of the old TNT bunkers. This was actually a munitions area for a long time during World War II. 
so they stored munitions here and there's still a bunch of bunkers left um, most of them are in use the ones we're gonna look at tonight are open so they might have the mothman in them though Think the Mothman like Scrumpy a, um, a normally wake him up, here. then you'll see pissed off Mothman. He will get the big light out. Mothman eyes yet. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Forward. Let's, forward we go. I think. Being in West Virginia, I'd be more scared of running across the wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. You seen that documentary? If you haven't, check it out. It's on Amazon Prime right now. These people are nuts. I mean, they you don't want to cross them. The Wild and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia. It's on Amazon Prime right now. It's awesome. This is like... The Blair Witch Project. <laughs> Only... Only the camera's not on you. Right and snot's not coming out of your nose. <laughs> this has got to be one of them. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared. This is ultra creepy. So that's one of the munitions bunkers. That echo. Yeah, that echo's it. nuts. Somebody put a swastika in there. What a bunch of idiots. Voorhees was here. Jason Voorhees. So, um, this is an igloo, and for those of you who don't know, uh, during World War II, they would store munitions inside of this, uh, dome. And, uh, they were hidden from the sky, so in case Germans flew over, they wouldn't see them. And uh, that's what this was used for. It's kind of cool. And now it's a Mothman lair. Yeah, no shit. And if you wake him up, he's going to be pissed. What is that? Is that a bird? Probably an owl. Let's keep walking. 
What the hell was that? Right. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. You know what's funny? You think, what are they so scared of and everything? But hey, if you're alone out in the middle of nowhere in the woods and stuff like that, that, that every little noise is going to scare you. And this is part one, by the way. I guess there's a part two to this from This Is Dan Bell. Check his channel out. Me and my bright ideas. Seriously. I mean, there could be hillbillies out there or anything. Be like a scene out of Deliverance. Boy, you sure got a pretty mouth. Let's just keep moving. Look at the look at the steam rising off the nuclear plant. Turn your light off. Yeah. Is it pronounced nuclear or nuclear? I always say nuclear. Boy, is that not eerie or what? Turn the light off. I can't see. There we go. It looks almost like a fire, like smoke or something. Kill the... Okay. What are, they, what are they doing? It's the man in black. They're watching you from a helicopter. kind of a bird let's keep walking a little bit further I don't know if they have them or not but wild boars would be a thing to stay away from too that sounds like some kind of a bird Nothing down there. Alright. Oh, I think I see a turn off there. You see it? Better be leaving a trail of breadcrumbs or something <laughs> so you can find your way back. That would suck to get out there and get lost. Man, these things are so creepy. I mean, seriously. Is this another dome? I think it is. How it echoes in there, man, that's insane.
upside down cross. Watch out for that. Okay. And another one, another dome. Just hearing all that echoing walking around in there would creep me out. pretty cool I'd, I'd like to be there going through that I'd like to camp there overnight not alone though I don't think I'd go there alone I don't know why I laugh when people get hurt. I always have, though. Is that all of them? Yeah, it's all of them. Alright. Can we go now? <laughs> Off to the TNT plant. Yeah. Well, that was kind of cool. I like that channel. This is Dan Bell. I'm going to put the link to his channel in the description down below. Go to it and check out part two. I showed you part one. Now you can go check out part two if you're interested. I'm going to. And that was called The Mothman's Lair. Creepy nighttime tour of, Pint, of Point Pleasant's abandoned TNT bunkers. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Now, how about a joke? A light vest protects you from drowning. A bulletproof vest protects you from getting shot. And a sweater vest protects you from really pretty girls. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag mean gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends. Leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.